Dan Moskal here, and in this video we're going to talk about some search engine optimization when it comes to having somebody come and uh, guest blog or put up a guest post on your website. Because there's some key things to remember, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use an example. And I wish I had this full conversation, but uh, we're going to be talking about this credit site over here. And this guy, uh, Billy, has sent us an article and should wanting to be a guest post, a uh, guest author, should you ever have somebody do this, go and search in Google before you post their article. Go and search for the title or take a couple, take a sentence or a few words and go search in Google. Like, here, let's just go ahead and stick, I deleted his conversation because it was so absurd, but let's just, the title of his article the second article that he wanted to send me. Um, it took me about three seconds searching in Google to see the first article he sent me was just, it was garbage, absolute total, total garbage. And if I had posted that on my website right here, it would get me in Google bad graces because I'm just posting crud, for lack of a better word. And, uh, it was literally here. Look, we're going to use an example because I want to show you just how bad it was. I mean, it was just absurd. It was quite literally, and this might be where our friend from Facebook found his new article that he send us, sent us, but it was literally an article that existed already. And it's what uh, you might hear Google call spun content. Um, and it wasn't even spun, it was literally, it was the exact same sentence, except it would say three words at the end. Feel like you are stuck in prison for a long time. And then it, it was the exact same, I mean 70% of it was the exact same words. And it's one thing to do some research when you write an article to find some ideas of things to talk about. For example, he was talking about, I believe the first article was about credit card debt. And like I said, it took me three seconds, but if you aren't, if you're relatively new or haven't been around f working full time online since 2006, you might not know. Go and search in Google a sentence, a couple of the words, the title, or whatever, and you'll almost often, if it's not an original article, you'll often find where they found the article from. And the place that our associate found his article from, or a guy we really didn't even know who contacted us by email. Um, it'd be one thing, and we explicitly asked him, is this original content before he sent the first article, which he claimed was, but it was quite literally on a very large, reputable website where he had taken that article and just either added two or three words or changed, you know, prison to jail. I mean, it was just, and if we had posted that garbage article on our website, Google's not going to give us search traffic for that. They're not going to say, oh, we like your website because you just, and, and what I'll call, and Google may disagree with me, but I call it just plagiarized and stolen content. It was garbage. And uh, one of the keys here when you're working online because I've gotten hundreds of these emails over the years with people wanting to guest blog some garbage article that's been published on 13,000 other websites. And when they send it over to you, they're going to want a backlink from, to their website. Which, in my opinion, uh, if I'm going to come and write for your website, if you contact me, I very well may be willing to write for your website. But I'm not going to demand a backlink I might ask you for a backlink, and if you say no, it still may be worth it for me to go ahead and write an article for your website, because if you just put, you know, this is written by, I'm Dan Moskal, but this is my pen name, for credit, Dan Willis, uh, you can find more over at his website or something. People very well may go and visit my website from your website, even if there isn't a link. Like, they may go over to Google and search, you know, my name or something, or you could you know, at the end of the article, say, hey, this is a uh, guest post, you know, to get more, you can go and visit, and just not put a link in, 
and I think that would be a way to generate some more traffic not to mention get your name out there a little bit more because right now this site gets traffic and there'd probably be people that would read his article plus in my opinion dude writing a 500 word article is not a difficult task on any subject uh, what I do for my articles is I'll make a little outline and then I'll write my articles like I'll just jot down a couple of the main points like this one's about bad credit so a couple of things about bad credit what is bad credit um, you know how to fix bad credit like it's not hard stuff I think you spend more time or people spend more time trying to spin an article or change an article that's already been published or rewrite an article when it'd be just as effective and a lot more beneficial to everybody the search engines the person that's writing that person's website and us searches us searchers the people that type into Google for things if you just write an original article man how many things can you write about within a subject like we're talking about debt but let's talk about even building a website there's a million different topics to talk about within building a website and if you're worried like the Google AdWords tool is a great way to find ideas for um, not just keywords to advertise on but ideas for articles or videos like guest posts SEO guest blogging guest blogging guest blog posts all these different things you know guest post guidelines not copied stolen plagiarized stuff but these are just you know type in whatever whatever you're searching for over to keyword tool and it'll give you some other ideas I was just curious if we could uh, see where the gentleman from uh, Facebook had stolen his most recent article from I mean it, it's just garbage 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 and if your website links over to a website that's doing garbage and publishing garbage out there your website is not doing itself any good if anything you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot so make sure to do some research don't just publish anything that anybody sends you claiming that it's a hundred percent original especially when it's blatantly copied and I'm sorry but this guy is somebody that I'm actually gonna point out to go ahead and warn you Billy Patterson be careful about he him he a uh, claims to be a content writer at content writer and he just sent me a ripped off totally copied just copied plagiarized piece of garbage that's gonna penalize my website when it comes to search engine traffic if I publish it on my website and I responded to this guy after like three or four emails and where he claimed to be disappointed in me and I deleted it all because I didn't want to talk to him anymore but he clearly didn't read my response because he's talking about me publishing another article and when I responded to him I told him I would never publish anything from him because uh, it was such a blatant ripoff and it took me just three seconds to find the ripoff like find the original article I mean it was just absurd so um, it's important to make sure to cool off I'm just gonna delete this guy there's no sense in you know giving them really a piece of my mind it doesn't do us any good as uh, entrepreneurs and uh, moving forward with our day's work so um, if anything uh, take an example here and make a little YouTube video to help other people avoid in my opinion scam artists like this guy I mean that just it was just it's literally he very well may or may in the future go and copy the work that I do I mean that's the bottom line he's making my job my life and your job and your work that much harder when you go and steal people's real work and add two words to each sentence or you know change prison to jail uh, or change high interest rates to um, really expensive interest rates I mean it's just you're not providing anything of value to anybody anywhere and you're stealing somebody else's real work um, which Google's search engine spiders are smart enough that should this guy right here steal your stuff like the mm, hundreds or thousands of other people that go out and do this uh, Google's smart enough to know that okay you published it first you have the real article there you won't be penalized if somebody goes and steals your stuff or shouldn't be um, I'm just amazed at how 
it's just it's amazing you'll have more than just this guy I've gotten hundreds of these uh, soliciting emails and it's never once been a reputable legitimate uh, article or even request it's just absurd so if you want to come and guest blog post on my blog you're more than welcome to danmoskleyuniversity.com if you provide original 100 percent article or if you'd like a guest blog post from me i might be willing to with or without a backlink like you know just having just having it written by somebody else on your article you're probably going to get traffic and the idea with guest blog posting is to build your credibility not to go slap a bunch of garbage up on other people's websites or on your website from other people uh, so whether you're posting somebody else's article or going and doing some guest uh, excuse me guest blog posting make sure you don't just rip it off write something original and unique especially if you say it's original and unique like <laughs> I mean, this is common sense, but I've gotten hundreds of these emails. So, um, uh, there's one last thing I want to mention with this. I think part of the reason that a lot of these, quote, SEO or content experts are doing this more now is because of the Google updates, which are good for all of us. Uh, their Zookeeper, Panda and Penguin stuff. Um, the SEO world's kind of in a especially the consultants, the people that really work um, to help other people's websites, generally speaking, are in a bit of a panic mode because most of the tools and services from the past have been rendered ineffective. Uh, there used to be a lot of automated programs and uh, automated tools that would help build inbound backlinks to your website with good anchor text, but no longer um, today uh, the search engine, especially Google's, has gotten much smarter to realize the reputable, legitimate websites and uh, to be able to recognize people that are just plagiarizing other people's stuff and putting in a couple words and uh, are just not people you would ever want to work with. So, this is Dan Moskal. You can grab a copy of our book over at Amazon.com. It is called How to Build a Website Easy Button. And uh, reach out to us, comment below, uh, tell other people about all the guest blog garbage you've gotten, or, uh, you know, if you want, we can talk about potentially writing articles for or uh, with each other. I'm open to that, depending on you know the circumstances and uh, conditions and should you contact me uh, please make sure you provide me with a 100 percent original article and if I were to ever contact you me or anybody that I worked with I would make sure that it's not just a ripped off plagiarized article because that's not even a good backlink from another website Google if they recognize which they very are very apt to do that your article is just plagiarized content that's already been published they're not going to put much value on that backlink going back to your website. So, for example, if I had published Billy Patterson's garbage article on my website, Google Spiders would say, oh, this article looks exactly like this other website's article. There's an extra word here and an extra word down here. This is a garbage article. Why the heck did they publish it? We're not going to value this uh, link over to whoever Billy's article was for. So, anyways... Uh, this is Dan Moskal. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with your friends, family, and colleagues.